If you're spending money advertising and sending customers directly to your e-commerce product page, you could be leaving tons of money on the table. Nearly every test I've done comes back the same. Sending visitors to a landing page instead of a standard product description page improves conversion rates by at least 25%. I've even seen a properly built landing page double conversion rate. There are 11 key elements to creating the perfect e-commerce landing page. Stick around for this video and I'll show you what they are. Hey everyone, I'm Ryan. And between True Earth and my other brands, I've done over $100 million in sales. We've learned a lot of lessons along the way and I'm here to share those with you for free. Don't worry, I don't have a course and I have nothing to sell you. Today's video, we're gonna break down the 11 key landing page elements so you have the tools that you need to create a landing page that sells. Before I jump in, I wanna be clear. Sending somebody to your landing page isn't always going to be the clear winner. When we're talking top of funnel direct response advertising, landing pages typically crush product description pages, especially when they're led by a buy box. Let me explain. If you've heard of transactional analysis or transactional psychology, you probably already know that there are three states that potential customers will be in when they get to your site. Child, adult, or parent. The child's emotional. They're excited about the prospect of what your product can do in their lives, and they're excited to get it like a five-year-old kid cutting out pictures from a toy catalog for their Christmas list. The adult is living here in the present. They want logical reasons why this product will be the right fit for them. They're looking for examples of ways they can fulfill the emotional excitement from the child. They're rational, and things like price can impact their choices. Final stage is parent. This is your critical parent. They wanna know why this is different than the other things that you've tried in the past. They wanna know what happens if they don't like the product. They're skeptical that the child in you knows what they need. Now that we've got that out of the way, most direct response first time visitors will be showing up in child form. They're excited about what you've told them in your ad and they're emotionally charged about the product. If you wanna to sell to the child, you wanna build up their emotional state until the point they will beg their parents to buy the product, regardless how logical they are. When you push somebody from your ad direct to your product description page, you're missing out on the opportunity to build up that emotion because you're transporting them straight to the price, straight to the logical adult phase. And this is one of the reasons why an e-commerce landing page tends to convert better because we can spend more time building the emotional aspect of the product before we give them a logic check. Now that I've taught you a little bit about transactional psychology, or as it's technically called transactional analysis, we're gonna jump in. All right, getting started. So the first element of an e-commerce landing page is the header or hero section of the website. This generally consists of hero images of your product, a strong headline, some benefits, and social proof. This combines the two here as well. Also social proof with the stars and a strong call to action. This is Snow's website. It's a teeth whitening tool. Typically, they would probably have a better call to action, but since it is in the middle of the 4th of July sale, their headline is tied to the sale event. Another great example is Dr. Squatch. They make soap for men. Feel like a man, smell like a champion. We've got your product shots over here, your, your headline, some benefits, and some call to actions to get moving. Pros, another big D2C brand. Transform your hair with custom care. It's their headline. Discover your fully personalized routine from shampoo to supplements. Gives you an idea what the products are. It's not super detailed, but again, get your formula. That's the call to action, as well as nice pictures of the product. It's pretty standard. There's, you see a lot of e-commerce websites that use this formula, and there's a reason why. It works great. One thing I would always try testing is putting the total number of reviews you have with the stars above your above or below the call to action. But these are a few examples of fantastic header and hero sets. All right, on to the next section, otherwise known as the benefits or the why. The goal is to give the person reading the page more benefits about the product so they understand exactly what your value proposition is. We don't need to go crazy and write out huge paragraphs here. We want to demonstrate the benefit and give a few extra notes on what else they need to know about that particular benefit. So on Snow's website here, for instance, 
<clears throat> made for sensitive teeth. I can dig a little bit more into that. Erases stains in a few days. Dig more into that here. Recommended by dentists. Oh, perfect. I was wondering that. Nine out of 10 dentists recommend our wired teeth whitening kit. We want to continue to play off the child ego that we talked about earlier. So these benefits are going to get them further amped up and make them more excited about your product before we get into too much logical stuff. Another great site, again, Dr. Squatch. We've got get dirty, stay clean, no harmful ingredients and formulated for men. That's super important on Dr. Squatch since they make soap for men. Most men just use whatever generic soap they get given. So this kind of makes men feel like this is something that caters to their exact needs. On pros, we believe that great hair is for everyone. We know one size fits none. So basically they're taking a slightly different approach here and they are telling you the why behind the brand and why and what makes pros different than other products. The next section here that I want to talk about is the featured review. This is a great place to demonstrate places that you've been talked about in the press, as well as reviews that are outstanding from individual customers. If there's a way to add a face, definitely do that here. This is, again, this, the point of this is to demonstrate that other people have tried this product and that it's great that you should try it too. So this is pros. They've got this in the press section. You can click through and see different things that different media have said. Great example. <clears throat> For Sigmatic, they've got these here with, with pictures of the people, like really great trust builder. If you're in the space, you might be familiar with this particular doctor. I'm not, but who knows? Life Boost, again, best coffee ever. I've tried so many different brands trying to find one that doesn't give me heartburn or a racing heart. Thank you, Life Boost. Best tasting coffee with no side effects. And when we're talking about these single reviews, we're not talking about your your review widget that has all the reviews. This is just a single testimonial, a single review that really is concise and gets the point across for your customer. The next section we're gonna talk about is how it works. We wanna show the potential customers the specifics. If there's step-by-step -step instructions, we wanna show that to them right now. If, it's, if there's not step-by-step -step instructions, you can feel free to add more depth on your benefits. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use True Earth, my brand, as an example here. True Earth Eco Strips make laundry as simple as one, two, three. One, remove a strip. We got a, a picture showing it. Two, place strip in the washer. Three, add clothes. Pre pretty straightforward, pretty clear. Another great one is FabFitFun. So what happens when you get a subscription box? You choose your plan, you pick your products, and you live your best life. Straightforward. If your product needs an explanation on how it works, do that here. So now that we've given the customer enough information to get excited about the product, we want to get down to making an offer or putting the buy box on the page. This page is old school labs and they have this whole landing page and then wham, the ability to purchase without leaving the page. You can still go through the images. You can still read a little bit more if you want, but now that you've got all your benefits, you've got excited about the product, you have the option to purchase right here on the page. Same thing goes with Jones Road. You've got their basics and then wham, you can pick your color, you can make your purchase right here without having to go anywhere. You basically are just rearranging some of your product description page to put your buy box lower on the page so that we're not offering them the ability to purchase until they're ready. The next section on the perfect e-commerce landing page is going to be the rest of your reviews. So as you scroll down your page, you've already gone past either the press or the individual reviews. This is going to be where the rest of your reviews live. So on Four Sigmatic, they, you can go through all of the reviews. William Painters, William Painter, they've got tons of reviews here you can go through. Again, same with that old school labs. They've only got a selection of three that you can choose here, but <clears throat> this is basically going to be where you're going to demonstrate more social proof. The next section is your frequently asked questions. Not every single question is going to be answered in your benefits, in your whys, in your testimonials. There's going to be certain things that people want to know. For instance, with Four Sigmatic, what does Four Sigmatic mean? Are these magic mushrooms? Does your product taste like mushrooms? This is where you're gonna to try to bust objections that you get commonly asked in your ad comments, 
with your customer service. If you find that there are questions that are commonly popping up, you can feed these into a frequently asked questions section on your site. Vessi's got one as well. 100% waterproof shoes or Vessi's eco-friendly. These are going to bust common objections that might not make the top list, but are frequently asked and stop people from making a purchase. You want, the goal is to continue to move people forward, eliminate friction, and get people to the point that they're confident that they can make the purchase. The next section is the competitive comparison section. The goal here is to show your potential customer why your product is the best option, especially when compared to the other people offering some somewhat similar products. You're going to want to demonstrate why you're the best in every single category, but you don't want to do it in a way that makes it look like you're uh, exaggerating. So you want to make sure that the comp competition also has a few check boxes checked so that you're not just all versus nothing. Here's an example on unbloat.me that talks about all the different benefits and comparisons by brand. The next item that you need to have on your e-commerce landing page is the dun, 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 risk reversal. We're, I'm talking money back guarantee. If we're looking at the child adult parent aspect of selling, then this falls under parent. This is the critical parent that's not sure if this product is going to be the right fit for them. And how do we bust that objection? By implementing a risk reversal. In this case, it's a money back guarantee. What happens if they don't like the product? If you can show them that effectively, money back guarantee, feel the difference or it's free. Thanks for Sigmatic. William Painter, lifetime warranty. All shades include our lifetime warranty protection program. If you lose yours, hit us up for a nice discount on some new ones. Easy returns. We want you to love your shades. If you don't, just send them back within 14 days for a full refund. No questions asked. True Earth, your satisfaction is important to us. If you don't absolutely love True Earth, we don't want to keep your money. You want to set your potential customer's mind at ease that if the product doesn't do what you say it does, then there's no risk to them. If you can bust that objection, you have a much higher chance of completing the sale. Item number 10 in terms of the key ingredients for an e-commerce landing page is additional call to actions. You'll see good landing pages such as this one have additional shop now buttons. Boop, that bring you right back to the buy box. Sometimes people are going to scroll by the buy box because they need more information. You don't want to have to make them scroll all the way back up when they could just click. The goal is to make the sale as frictionless as possible. Oh, I totally want that. Click, boom, right back to the buy box, ready to make the sale. And the final item in the list is the footer. A lot of times you'll see all of the links to everything on the site for navigation to get around in the footer. And that's fantastic if that's your regular homepage or if it's a page that people are gonna find through just generally shopping your site. But if you're pushing somebody to a landing page, your footer should be clean. It shouldn't have anything other than shipping and privacy policy. Every link that you have to social media is another person that you paid $3, $4 a click for who has left and may no longer make a purchase. Make your footer simple, make your footer clean, reduce the amount of people that leave your site through distractions and make more sales. That wraps up this video showcasing the 11 keys to creating a perfect e-commerce landing page. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and hit the like button below. And if you have any questions or if you have any sections on your site that you found have contributed positively to your landing pages, Leave it in the comments. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments as well. Hope you love this video. Don't forget to check out the other videos in this series. See you on the next video.